Salute family. Y'all already know what time it is with me. We on real nigga time. You know, do all the typical YouTube shit like share, subscribe if you ain't already, and leave a comment and tap in. So a few years ago, we did this series of children's stories, of the original children's stories of where they came from on this particular channel. Uh, those lives still up or whatever, but I've been getting emails over the last past year asking me when I was gonna do them again. So what I decided to do is start back from the drawing board and present it this way, and we start with Pinocchio. This original story of Pinocchio is nothing like the story that Disney retold. Doesn't really have too much to do with the kid lying or nothing like that. He was just an asshole. Like, seriously. So it's like this. You know, it's somewhat typical with what we know from the, the Disney tale, right? Uh, homie, the, the old nigga, he go cut some wood. As he started to cut it, the wood starts to speak, which totally fucks him up. You know what I mean? But anyway, fast forward, he, he turned this wood and, and molded into um, a young man. What, what he noticed that the kid, the more that he was being an asshole, his nose started to grow. Like every time he said some fuck shit, his nose would grow. Not lying, just being a dick to the old nigga. So this weird ass nigga, he kicks Chappetto, whatever the fuck we want to call him. We just, for the sake of argument, me not fucking up the name, we just going to keep calling him the old nigga. He kicks him in the shin and go running out the door, butt ass, wood naked, just just running through the town. So the, the, the police or the authorities run up on him because they think, you know, something happened to him. They don't know that th this little nigga made out of wood or whatever. They not really paying attention, so they think that. They like, where you live at, yo? He like, I live over there. They think, you know, the old nigga did something to him, so they locked the old nigga up. Like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, they locked the old nigga up. They take him down to the station. So at this point, y'all probably thinking, old Noki, old dumbass, probably want to try to tell the truth to get, say what happened. Against that. Nah, he, he, go back to the, he go back to the spot. And start chilling. Now, who we know is Jimmy the Cricket is introduced, but he ain't really got no name in the book. He just called the, the talking cricket. I believe, if memory serves me correctly, right? So he trying to tell him, like, yo, you got to chill. You got to relax. You can't keep acting like an asshole. You can't keep doing all this, all that. You, you really got to relax, my boy. Now, the book claims... Nokio picks up a hammer or mallet and he throws it in the direction of the talking cricket and accidentally kills him. Me, I think the little fucker did it on purpose or whatever. You know what I mean? Said little weird ass nigga. So he lays the talking cricket down that we know is Jimmy the Cricket and then he falls to sleep with his dumb ass feet on top of the stove. So y'all know what happens next. His goddamn feet burn off. He's an idiot. So the, the, the next morning, the, 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 you know, Chappelle, old ass, he, he get out of jail or whatever. He come home, and he come home to this nigga who feet then burnt off, feet smoking. Well, feet gone. They ain't smoking. His nubs smoking. You know what I mean? He like, yo, what happened to you? He like, I, I fell asleep with my feet up that you know what I mean? It, and they, they disappeared. They gone. He like, all right, man, I'm going to make you some new feet. All that. But but you got to you gotta be good, man. Like, you got to chill. You got to relax. And I, I need you to go to school. So I'm going to go get you some books. This man take his, his last bit of money. Like, I think he sell a coat or something to get the bread. Get Nokio dumbass some books. Send them on to school. Y'all already know this man's ain't go to school. He ain't go to school. He's, he's a fucking idiot. He ain't go to school. Check this out. 
the rest of this gonna blow y'all mind. So from my recollection, I, I really think he was he was walking around trying to scam motherfuckers, but I can't remember this part too much, right? But somewhat just like in the story, he he goes to like they having a festival or a play or something, and these other puppets kind of recognize him. So the writer is trying to relay to the reader that they was possibly made by the same pieces of wood. So the puppet master nigga, he's seeing whatever, but Nokio dumbass. Now I don't want to skip too far ahead, but I ain't gonna hold y'all too long. Nokio dumbass stars a ruckus and creates a whole lot of fuck shit at the festival. Gets chased, run up on all that. The puppet master about to body this nigga. You know what I mean? Like you fucking up my shit. But Nokio lay on this story about how he got to get back home to his dad and die, die, and he's sick and all this other shit. So the puppet master nigga, he started to feel a little bad for the nigga. So he even give him a couple dollars and send him on his way. Now, you would think Nokio's would take his ass home after what he just been through. Nah, blood, nah. Not, not y'all, man. This is when he run into... I think it's the cat and the something else. If y'all remember the original story, I think one was deaf and one was blind. Some shit like that. I don't really remember, but I remember this, right? But, so he run into some scammers just like his scammer. And they trying to scam him out of them them coins that he got from the puppet master. He already sold the... That's the part I forgot to tell y'all. I left out a part. He got into the festival because he sold the books that his dad went through all that to get money for him for the go to school for the books. He sold the books so he can get into the festival. But anyway, he get the couple of dollars back from the, you know, what I mean, the puppet master like we just won over a little while ago in that part of the story. Right. But he run across these two trying to scam him. They trying to get him to come up off them corns. They telling him, you know, what I mean, it, it, if you plan them over here. You'll grow a tree with with the with the silver nickels or some shit on it, some shit like that, right? Y'all can go read the book yourselves. I'm not gonna get everything right. I'm not gonna remember. It's not like I'm reading the motherfucker as I speak. So the the, the fox and the cat or whatever they was is they they trying to con him out of the coins that he got left. Nokio dumbass and already buried them to wait on this tree. They sitting down, he walking, so that this this light appeared to him with this little voice in the background. It's your man's. It's the ghost of the homie Jimmy the Cricket, right? So he trying to tell him, like, yo, they scamming you. Ain't nothing good going to come out of this. Get out while you can. Nokio ain't trying to listen. He pretty much just saying, nah, man, you just jealous because you ain't getting this bread like I'm getting this bread because you did type shit, whatever, whatever. So he he ignored the voice and he go on about his business. Next thing he know, he being chased and these goons snatching him up. They tie a rope around his neck, hang him from the tree, you know what I mean? And watch this man die a slow death. That's some ill shit, right? We can all understand the lesson in that, but that, like, come on now. Like, this is what we doing? But, so Disney took this, and they made it into, you know, what y'all know of today. They turned it into him just fibbing, not being a scammer and a dickhead and shit like that. It is still, till this day, one of the most re, uh, let's say, republished books damn near as much as the bible but y'all let me know down in the comments have you ever read the original story and what did you think about what you just heard i right?